Welcome to Horse Racing Gamer, where champions are made. YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Galbraith 2004. Now, I think in this recording session, I'm going to split these videos up into a couple of parts because I'm going to be really busy with work here soon. And uh, I'm dealing with personal things that I'm... I just want to say for everybody listening, if you have loved ones, family, friends, whomever it is, you know, just really cherish the time you have with them. If you have a good relationship with them, of course, always be grateful for what you have and who you have with you because um, life is unpredictable. And uh, yeah, sometimes it just, you know, just just be appreciative for what you have and, and be grateful for, for the good things that you do have. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to make this episode a Debbie Downer, but just needed to get that out. So um, I wanted to play Gal Bracer. I wasn't um, in the mental space of trying to set up my live stream at all. So um, just wanted to just play the game and just kind of relax and, um, yeah, get through the next couple of months. Because to be honest with you guys, like... Um, it's been so it's been taking so long for us to get through this year because I have so many horses. I have over a dozen horses. So um I figure by the time I get through all of these races between now and like breeding season, the next time I come back for a live stream, obviously we'll be able to uh, do the breeding with you guys uh in, in the live stream. That Oh gosh. But yeah, you guys will be able to be there and help me with you know the breeding decisions that we decide with our horses. Um, so yeah. Anywho, um, the last live stream we did was awesome. Uh, it was so much fun. I love live streaming, of course, when I can, but that one was really fun because I never got to do a full term, uh, Galbraith 2004 live stream. So that was really enjoyable. And uh, we did well. I mean, we had a couple of races we dropped, but for the most part, we won what we needed to. And, um, most of our horses are doing great. So Silent Speaker, this is from Desert Derby out of Irish Fleet. I think I gave this, no, I haven't given this horse tack. Up in the Canopus, and uh, he's got a chance. Second favorite behind Native Way. Exact Majesty is going to be there too. It's a pretty competitive field when you look at it. And uh, Indomitable Spirit. I need to look at look into that ability again because I haven't actually read about it. I know about it, but I just haven't paid any mind. We finally found out his leg type. He either wants to be leading or he wants to be the last horse. Uh, I'm... Oof. If he can run 10 furlongs, that tells me he has the distance, so I'm probably going to actually try to get this dude to the front. But if he doesn't break well, I'm going to have to settle him in as a closer. So Here we go with Silent Speaker. So I don't know how long these episodes will be. I'm aiming for 30 to 40 minutes. I know that's not what everybody wants, but it's the best way that I can get multiple videos out to you guys. That way, it doesn't a week doesn't go by without any you know content and streams because I just don't know when I'm gonna be able to stream or record. I'm hoping I'll be able to on certain days, but if I can't, like I want to make sure at least you guys have some sort of content uh, to watch, and I'll make sure to keep it frequently so. You know, there will be a video every day or every other day at the minimum for you guys. So, honestly, the three horses already bolted to the front. I'm I'm off of it. And ironically, the three horse doesn't even go for the lead. So we actually could have made that work. That's really annoying. <laughs> I'm thinking because the, the three horse got such a great start, that horse is probably going to stay there. And lo and behold, it didn't. But you know what? This is fine. Let's see how this works. I mean... We have two different leg types for a reason. Let's actually figure out which one probably works best for the horse. Yeah. Um. Sorry, guys. I'm sending a text. Um. So we're just coasting right now, and uh, we've saved a lot of ground, so I'm going to kind of give them, get them up on the move now. This is a grade one, so we're going to have to get going a lot sooner. Stamina's not that high, okay. Um, so we have to start moving now. Two sevens, alright. I said we're going to have to drive now. 
Oh, Rebo, wasn't expecting that. We're supposed to finish in second. We have plenty of stamina. Still. Did I really need it to get started a lot sooner? Okay, there's Indomitable Spirit, but is that going to help us win? Or at least come in second like we need to? We're catching. We're catching. It's a good drive here from Silent Speaker. Stretch Burst. It's too late. I think we have to run this dude as a front runner for sure. Ugh, yeah. He doesn't... Those abilities are great, but he doesn't have closing speed. You guys know, like, Honeybee from our 2003 playthrough? He's not that type of horse. So, um... Yeah, we can't do that. Ah, okay. As long as I don't lose him, it's fine. It's a bummer, though. It's definitely a race we shouldn't have lost. It's a third place finish, but not the result you wanted. He moves up to C rank, which is good. 45 temper. Uh, all right, we're going to run you again. Young Crown Cup? I mean, yeah, you're the only two-year-old that can do that for the Colt, so let's do it. We should actually be able to win that, so... Um, I think I do want to actually give him some tack. I mean, I was thinking about keeping him where he was at, but I think this guy might be okay. Since he's a front runner, I'm going to go ahead and put the hood on him. Um, let's see, silent speaker. Let's go ahead and just give you this, something. Let's do green. I feel like we haven't done that in a while. Actually, can we, we do like this neon? Okay, we can do that, that green. I think it's a little bit different. Or maybe do the green with the black. Okay, that's cool. Blinkers, of course. And then... I'm not even going to give you bandages. I'm just going to give you the blinkers set up. Alright, so silent speaker... He'll be up in the Young Crown Cup, and, um... Is that our first race of the episode? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit out of it, so uh, just bear with me for uh, these episodes. Uh, I'm not spending any money. We're going to have... S only two horses coming to the track next year, not six, so... I actually have plenty of time if I want to buy someone, but... I already have too many horses. I, I want to downsize ASAP, honestly. Um, so here we are. Toxic Blonde is up and then open, and she should be the favorite? Second favorite, okay. So, definitely a sprinter. The reason why she's had such long odds in her first two races is because I ran her at 8.5 and, and I think 10 or something. She's definitely a sprinter. Sprinter on the turf, which is good to know. And, uh, why do I still have the blinkers on her? I was going to take those off. Her stats are bleh. At least for what we can see so far. But if we win this race, we'll reveal a lot. So, yeah. The horses are in the gate. All right. I want to find a different playlist. It's a little bit too slow for me. Do, do, do. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, listen to, like, Caribbean music while playing God Racer. Nothing wrong with Caribbean music because I freaking love it. But it's, like, every game, every video game for me has to have its own vibe and like Caribbean music for playing Gallup Racer is not like racing music. I need kind of upbeat cool tempo music <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, when I'm playing Gallup Racer. Or any racing game in that in that category. So uh, I wonder if she has last corner leader. Her stam's not great but like I said she is a sprinter so it kind of makes sense. Now, this is just an open, so we should be able to smoke this field with relative ease. Oh, come on, Toxic, what are you doing? Is the 8 really just gonna... Is that... What? She is... This girl is so confusing. She's not turning out to be as good as I thought. Because I just can't figure out where she needs to be, really. I don't know her leg type, for one. Um... Yeah, Toxic Blonde, she's, um... From Blue's Breeze at Elise Gold, I had higher hopes for her. Bro, all these playlists sound the same, dude. Can I get some, like, upbeat, like, tempo music? Yeah, I don't know about Toxic, man. That's, um... Yeah, she, she is very, very tricky. Yeah, she, she's very tricky, so I'm... You know... 
trying to figure it out with her, but um, she's E ranked. I don't know the rest of her stats. We don't close race okay in stretch burst. I'm guessing I started too late. I mean, that's an open, and she dropped that race, so that's pretty disappointing. So actually, I'm gonna do something different here. She maybe she's not a front runner, even though Blue's Breeze was like it's so confusing. I just don't know anything really about her, so I don't even know where to run her properly. You know? Let me go. Ahead. Have I tr have we tried her as a closer? Her stamina is not great. Maybe we need to give that a shot, or at least run her mid pack. I want her in a grade three. That's fine. I need to figure something out with this girl. Okay, more upbeat music. I can do I can roll with this. Uh, safety link is here. You only have one ability. Winged soul, you have none. Um, fresh soul. I need long growth types, bro. I'm not okay. Late for Green Friday in fine way. That temper is awful. Temper bad again. Dude, these special horses like they're either hit or miss. They're either like the legendary special horses or like I'm not gonna say legendary, but. They're like the fantastic special horses we, we all know, or they're just complete duds, man. Like, it's no median with them, really. They're either really good, or to me, they're really bad. As far as just like, okay, they may have decent stats, but then they have no ability. So when it comes to breeding, like, I don't know. It doesn't work for me. Anyway, Stargazing, he's up in the Mile Champ Cup. We're going for that Mile Champ title with him. We should be the favorite. I mean, he's been really strong. Regal Soul is here. I'm not worried. Trifane, I'm not worried about either of those. But I know Regal Soul will give us a good fight on the inside. Regal's going to go for the lead. Stargazing is going to want to sit further towards the back. So uh, we could lose this race if I don't get the jump on Regal Soul. But as long as I get our spurt time properly, should work now. What I've noticed with this guy, which is why it's so easy for him to win races, even when he kind of gets impatient and then he loses, you know, he just absolutely goes berserk. Um, that speed and staying together obviously help. He's not going to lose out too much. And then that power rating and heart also holds. Those stats are really important, at least for me. The others I can deal I can deal without. Um, so when it comes to breeding, I'm really looking at trying to get those type of stats higher in my horses. Because he's he's been able to win races that he realistically should have lost. I haven't really had a horse beat it. I haven't had one of my own horses be able to do that except for... I don't know. He's like the first, I think, original in this game that we've created that's been able to win races and rely on his power. Um, but, you know, none of my other originals have been able to do so. Now, Diamond Plan, Formal Opera, these guys can win races without it being a perfect race, you know, regardless. But I, I haven't had that luck with, like, some of my created originals. Like, Chasing Hearts... Um, I mean, there were a couple races, I think, that she did win that she wasn't supposed to, but... Um, I mean, she never, like, lost her temper. Like, this guy has essentially oh, lost yeah. his temper several times. And, um... I know I bumped that horse, but he's fine. But like I said, Chasing Hearts never lost her temper, so we never had a race ruined because of that. Stargazing has lost his temper several times in races, and he's still going on to win by five lanes. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Uh, he's definitely a different dude, but from Western Tiger. So he's very strong, for sure. Okay, and I'm excited to use him as a sire, 100%. He's been easy to work with. Now that I know, I just kind of have to let him run how he wants to run. Like, it makes it a lot easier to work with him. Like, no fighting him, which is what I used to do. A lot. Give him the push. Got a long way to go. He's got good momentum. Very good momentum here. Oh yeah, this is Stargazing's race to win. Regal Soul on the inside. Goodbye. Goodbye. Stargazing. Four is going to try to give us a late rally, and that's fair. But Stargazing is going to go on to win the Mile Champ Cup, at least by a length, length and a quarter. And he's uh, getting closer to that Mile Champ title, which would be his second, actually. So let's go. So, we need 10 G1s with him. We can get him into the Hall of Fame, and he can uh, be, I think, the f first or second of Western Tiger's crop to actually become a Hall of Fame horse for us. So, that'd be awesome. Great win for Stargazing. Wins by length. And uh, double S on the spurt. Get the job done, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. Crap, sorry about that. 
Let's go, baby. Good win. Good win. Um, so stargazing. He's got 7G1, so we can get him over that 10 mile marker. 19 lifetime starts for this guy. 17 finishes in the top three. Seven grade one. Stargazing has been absolutely on a roll, man. On a roll. Really been happy with his progress and just, yeah, how he's been from Western Tiger out of Lee's Gold. Lee's Gold's been an awesome broodmare for me, man. If anybody hasn't, you know, tried her yet, try her out. Like, use her with some of your horses. I'm just very curious. She's been awesome for us. We'll put him in the China Cup. Why not? I think... I mean, uh, you know what? Who else may want to get into that race? Actually, I need to check the GWS standings right quick because I might need to leave that race open if somebody else is actually in the hunts for that. So let's see, that would be the turf category. And. Oh, can I not look at the standings? Oh, duh. Come on, Eric. So, Moonbee, I mean, all three of the boys are uh, 1, 2, 3 for the sprint. We're not worried about that. We have that on lock with all of our horses, so one of them is going to get it. Probably Golden Boy. The Turf, Stargazing, winning this race, winning that China Cup wouldn't actually help him win. Like, Butterfly Effect is in the hunt for that. So for Stargazing, we'll just go ahead and just try to maybe maybe run him on the dirt. I don't know if that'd be a stretch. Could give him a layoff, but more G1s or more G1s. They want him in a grade two. I'm, and of course, that's in April. We're not trying to do that. So for stargazing, let's see. Is there anything you can do? Yeah, I mean, those long. I, China base, like, he could run that, but let's see. Yeah, if I'm trying to get him, get him into a grade one, that's pr probably the best bet. Yeah, the China Vase, I suppose. See how you handle I mean, he's got the stamina and power. He should be able to handle that race, so. Alright. Yeah, Silent Speaker I feel more comfortable with. Um, even though we finished third in that race when we should have finished second. Doxy Blonde, I just don't understand right now. I don't know where she wants to run. She might be a... <sighs> Did I run her towards the front? I think I... I feel like I ran it towards the front last time. And she just got smoked. She might be a closer. I keep forgetting Blue's Breeze was kind of had that, that running leg, that running style. So I didn't pay attention to my position rating either, so I can't even remember what I got graded on. But I know she is at least a mid to closer. So um, I probably need to do that. We're in the Continental Cup here with General Reason. 12 furlongs. Expect to finish ninth. Trifane is here. Easy traffic. Easy treasure. I mean, very, very tough field for this guy, at least. He's only eight ranked. Stable value. So, over odds, obviously. General, you know, we, we've been consistent with him. We haven't achieved the success I've wanted as far as wins are concerned. But, like I said, I love his growth type, and I like his abilities. I just need to breed him with one of our really super strong brood mares, and I think we can get some really good horses with him, from him, with good growth types and good abilities. For sure. I'm hopeful, at least, but we'll have to wait and see. I don't know when I'm going to retire, General. I mean, I've been racing with him since he was three. He's about to turn six next year, so I've been racing with him for a while. Or maybe two. No, I think three. Very early in his three-year-old season, so we, we've been working with him for a long time, in all honesty. And like I said, you know, we haven't achieved... Like, if, if I could get him into the Hall of Fame, that'd be fantastic. You know, but to get into the Hall of Fame, we need to either win a GWS, win a title, which we could do. I just don't know which races are going to suit him best. Now, I, I can't decide. I don't want him on the rough, but I'm going to have to go ahead and just put him down here. I'll get him off the rough once we get around to about four and a half for a longs left. But um, getting him into the Hall of Fame would be fantastic, honestly. But, like, I think we only have one G1 win, so... Um, yeah, I'm not sure what type of G1... I mean, obviously, I can't put him in any of the special ones, really. 
think I have to keep them in the normalized ones as much as possible. So yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. I mean, if it's going to be, if it's possible okay. to get a title with him, I, I would, well, obviously a title and then, like I said, getting him into the Hall of Fame would be great. Okay, we got a good run here. No Rebel. I don't think they're going to give me last corner leader, which is fine. Oh, he doesn't have that anyways. I'm bugging. Okay, he's looking strong here. 13, it's easy treasure. Now, keep in mind, we're not supposed to win this race at all today. So, he's actually doing extremely well here. Easy treasure is going to go past us. This is a good... He holds on here. Come on. Okay, he's going to finish top five. That's not bad. We'll take that. He's just tired out there at the end. I think 12 was a little bit long for him. But yeah, finishes in the top five. So, um, that's a good result. I'll take that. He's been consistent. Like, we haven't had really bad races with him. We're just not winning like I wanted to. Golden Boy's up in the Long, uh, Long Beach Derby. Excuse me. Not a GWS race, but decided to put him in here. He's the favorite as he should be. Second favorite is First Phoenix. Cool name. You have no chance. Ah, this guy is so fun to ride with, man. So fun. So fast. 87 Stam. And again, Lee's Gold provided that, and so did Honest Pegasus. Honest Pegasus had S Stam, and so did Lee's Gold. So this guy as a sire is going to be fantastic. He's got the speed, he's got the power, and he's got the stamina. And he doesn't have any bad stats, really. So Honest Pegasus, we did, I didn't use him a lot like I should have, but thank goodness he provided us a great sire, a, a great future sire here in Golden Boy. He's absolutely beautiful, too, man. This guy's a literal stud. Good abilities, rough track okay. I mean, he's my type of racehorse, man, really. Fast growth type is not ideal, obviously. I would wish I could breed that out. And maybe I can, obviously. Maybe Golden Boy, I'm going to have to be really exclusive and only breed him with broodmares that have the longest growth types, even though typically the foals in this game, from my version of this game, they inherit their growth types from their fathers. Of course, like I said, I don't like fast growth types. I don't think many of us do. That's good for certain titles and certain championships, but most most of the time you want to race with your horses more than a year. So I'm gonna have to breed them with broodmares with the longest growth types and just see if it balances out. If we can at least get normal growth type foals out of him, we can build that up. I just I don't want every one of his foals to peak at three. You know, like that's not what I want at all. So I have to really be selective with breeding with him. But I'm not even gonna think about breeding until uh, we need to. This guy is really strong, and I want to win as much as I can with him. And who knows? Maybe that can also help extend the growth type, which I have read that some people say it does work for them if they continue to race their horses well past their prime, and they continue to do well with them past their prime. Like it's some weird mechanic where, like, for certain horses, it does like extend the foal's growth types to to an extent. There's a lot of things about this game I think most of us have realized that aren't written for us like in any PDF or document. Like I think Tecmo is one of those companies that puts a lot of stuff in, it, in their video games and then they kind of, they'll only tell you a little bit about the things you need to know and then they just kind of expect you to do your research and figure everything else out. Which in all fairness, you know, it can be good or bad for a game depending on what you're doing. Two sevens, easy money right here. Okay, I'm going to get Golden Boy on the move. I'm on the move. Get him on the drive. Levin's going to try to challenge. Challenge is going to be rejected here. Levin's hanging with me. That's first Phoenix. Wow. <laughs> I'm talking badly about this horse, but this horse is actually hanging in there. But like I said, challenge rejected. And Golden Boy should be rolling on here. Unless it's going to be a photo. Ah, he holds on. To win a Long Beach Cup. Oh, not even a photo finish. Clearly. I feel like we've had tighter races. Or we've had less tighter races that, that, that had photo finishes. I feel like that got a little bit tighter at the end. But there he is. 
Golden Boy wins the Long Beach Derby. From Honest Pegasus out of Lee's Gold, man. One of my originals. And then Lee's Gold, again, I said earlier, has been an awesome broodmare. So, almost perfect race. He makes it easy. Yeah, he makes it easy, man. So, fantastic stuff there for Golden Boy. Getting us the points that we need. General reason, too. That top five finish was fantastic. So, he's still leading in the sprint, as he should be. And the turf, he's not even up here, and and not up here in the dirt, which we don't need him for that. Because formal opera, Secretariat's going to win the dirt this year, it looks like. And we've blown the jockeys division out. So, it's been a really good year for us, I think. Uh, no, I do not, do not care about that thing, man. I really don't. All right, so who needs a race again? Golden Boy. That was his fifth grade one win. He was almost... I, I messed up his undefeated streak. <laughs> this guy is 12 for 13. Absolute maniac, man. All right, Golden Boy. Uh, we want to make sure you win the sprint. But there's, like, nothing else for you to run. So I'm going to hold off for a second because... um. In all honesty, if Golden Boy or Moonbee wins the sprint, it doesn't matter who. Moonbee's exceeded expectations, and he's got seven grade one wins. You know, he's been doing fantastic. So whether him or Golden Boy win, I, I'm not going to be picky. Yeah, there's, like, nobody available to run that China Cup, honestly. I could put Golden Boy in there. G1 is a G1, right? just feel like, does anybody else need that? Because who is in the turf fight? Oh, yeah, Butterfly Effect, but she's... Nah. I think we decided to drop her out of the GWS. Even Link is too much of a lead. You know what? Yeah, well, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and put Golden Boy in the China Cup. Let's just see. That's a big race. Good money for us as well if he can get the dub. So we'll go ahead and just do that for him. All right. Anyways... We'll get a couple more races in. Tigress of Stone, she's up in the Philly Cup. I don't know what the game was talking about when, like, we had to purchase her, and then all of her stats were, like, awful. Like, I swear her highest stat was maybe, like, a 30. <laughs> she was really bad, but, like, I haven't struggled with her at all. She's been fantastic. Second favorite today in the in the um, Philly Cup. Behind Aunt B. Blue's Bird is here, but Aunt B, she, she is going to be tough to beat. Tigress of Stone. This is the tack that we gave her. Like the look. Paying homage to her parents, Flying Cowboy and Pink Gemstone. She's got good abilities. We got to get her in front. She's fast. She's got very good temper, very good response. Yeah, we shouldn't have many issues. So there's Pink Gemstone. There's Aunt B. Yeah, obviously, you want to go for the win here. If she wins this, it could give her the two year old award, which would be a great way for her to start her career off. So hopefully, uh, we can get this done, right? Tigris, let's go, my girl. She looks ready to rock and roll, man. Yeah. Ready to rock and roll. Hey, Furlong's got to beat Aunt B. Aunt B's going to probably be on a really crazy late surge. It'd be nice if she gets blocked. But <laughs> I'm going to run my race and just hope that we, uh, we do everything right. As long as we do, I think Tigris can beat Aunt B for sure. No, no shade to Aunt B, obviously. Like, we've used her. I love her. She's one of my favorite Phillies or Broodmares to use in any God Racer game just because she's so fast. And her temper has never bothered me. Like, I know her temper rating is terrible, but, like, it's not like I've lost a lot of races because of her temper. Like, she's one of those horses that has a bad temper rating in this game, but, like, it doesn't actually prevent me from winning with her. You know, certain horses, like Crackle Thunder, King B's absolute... Knucklehead of a brother that I always mention, his temper really affected him terribly. And we couldn't win, and that's why I was kind of glad for him to actually go. Like, I wonder what he even achieved. Like, I need to see if he's even still racing at this point. Just to see if, like, he's actually done anything. <laughs> okay. Let's get her going. Last corner leader should tap in here. There it is. And B is rolling, man. She is rolling. Yeah, MB might actually get us. She has I have so much stamina left. How early was I supposed to go? Oh, Aunt B might struggle up the hill. Uh no, Aunt B's just gonna get us. Fair play. 
I mean, we were clear of the rest of the field. It was just us and Aunt B, so she's squ she's not quite at Aunt B's level yet. I'm a little bummed about that. I thought she'd be able to and double S on the spurt. I, I did as best as I could. Aunt B was just, I guess, too strong still. So it's gonna be think about it. Tigris of Stone is gonna be racing Aunt B in a lot of the Phillies races until Aunt B basically retires. So I'm hoping eventually she'll she'll surpass Aunt B. But Nonetheless, it'll be fun to battle with Ambi. And uh, I feel like I've said it, that horse's name too much. Did I lose somebody? We lost, um... Who do we lose? Oh, did I lose, um... I, lo I lost Cattail. <sighs> Why did I lose Cattail, bro? Did I not have her in a race? <laughs> Why did we lose Cattail? What? <laughs> what? 71 breaking. Her stats are really solid so far. Proceeder, of course. Uh, yeah, it's running a grade 3. She's already in the blue, but, um... Why did I lose Cattail? Like, what? what is that about, dude? The game hasn't taken a horse away from me in a while. At least not one that I've wanted taken away, but... They literally just snatched Cattail from me. <laughs> like... That's the thing with General Reason, too. I keep running him in these longer distance races that he shouldn't be in. 10 furlongs, 10, 12 and a half. He has 58 stam. Like, I've really kind of wasted his time, honestly. That's my fault. 39 lifetime starts. 12 wins. Only one grade one. We gotta get him in something short, man. No G1s for him for the rest of the year. Grade 2, 6 furlongs. I mean, he's got 78 speed, right? Or 74, he should be able to handle that, but... Okay, like, why... <laughs> Dude, the game just took Cattail for me. Like, we haven't even done that bad with her, honestly. That's so weird. Just seeing who's in these G1s. Round Saturn? Uh, I, I do kind of want Round Saturn. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Never worked with this horse, but obviously fighting him in Galb Racer 3, you know, kicking my butt <laughs> in this game, too. Only thing is, slow track, not good. I don't like that. And his only ability, ability is grit. Good stamina, though. Heart, power, all those are solid. Fast growth type, like, uh, nah. I mean, they really just took Cattail for me. Why? <laughs> Who has Cattail? Dude, who could, who? Riviera, what the F, bro? Why did you take Cattail from me? Last time I raced with Cattail was October 3rd, and then they just... She was in that race. I didn't even realize that. I know some of you probably paid attention to that. I just, I didn't even realize she was in that race with us in the Philly Cup. She finished at 9th. She's from Western Tiger out of Swap Buster. Flying Cowboy Sister. I mean... She was she was all right, you know. Like I I got two wins on her. I was looking forward to using her, but I don't even know what happened. That's that's annoying. But I, it's nothing I can do. It is what it is. Like why did he, <laughs> Riviera? You weirdo. Why would you? Why did he take my horse? Um, it's probably because I honestly forgot to put her in a race. Like I'm sure that's the case. Fairy fear, earning a lot of money over here. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's annoying, that's all. Moon Trapper's the highest earning horse here with Cook, but Butterfly Effect, she's getting up there. 10 wins already, and uh, 14 starts. Pink uh, only has Diamond Plan. Silver has nothing, Franck has nothing. Zao's got Tigris of Stone. Shiva's got Stargazing and Silent Speaker. Yeah, Stargazing is doing really nice, so. It is what it is. I mean, I. I mean, I guess. I'm like, I would expect. I would have expected them to have taken Toxic Blonde from me first, but like, they're still giving me a chance with this filly. Now, the good thing is, I can tell she's not peaking yet. Like, she'll probably have a normal growth type, at least from Lee's Gold. Um, but yeah, we. I. The her leg type would be really nice to know. Seven furlongs, so she's definitely a sprinter. 
Gotta figure out her light type, which I'm just gonna have to run her at the back anyways. Um, but yeah, that's like, okay. Just take my horses from me. Right, that's cool, bro. But it is what it is. I'm not gonna stress about that. Just wasn't expecting it to happen. Um, We have a lot of races here for December. Like, a lot. So here's what we're gonna do. Um... Oh my god, we have so many races here today, honestly. Like, this is... This can all go for, like, another episode. You know what I need to do? Maybe I should do, like, a, a practice race with Toxic Blonde. Actually, let me do that, because I, I really need to figure out where she needs to be. I don't want to lose her. I feel like she's going to have really good speed. And I think it'd be a waste... If I didn't figure out her light type sooner than later. Oh, like I said, she is confusing to work with. I, I stand by that, but I think once I know her leg type, that's going to help out a lot in how I run her. But because I don't know where she wants to be, it's hard to get in a rhythm with her. And I need to know the rest of her stats as well, just to see, okay, is her stamina bad? Blues Breeze and Lee's Gold. Lee's Gold didn't have bad stamina. Blues, I mean, Lee's Gold had S stamina. Blues Breeze has B. So her stamina should be pretty solid, honestly. Um, and then she should be pretty fast, too. That's why it's like, I don't understand like why it's been a struggle with her so far. But clearly I'm missing something. So let's go to free mode, and then... um, She runs seven furlongs, so... I'm going to go ahead and just run her in this open and see what happens. Because I still haven't even won a race with her. So I need to, like I said, do something easy, figure out what works... And then, hopefully, when we get back into the next episode, we can actually, like, start winning with her. Toxic Blonde. All right. So, Miss Toxic. Yeah, I don't know anything about you. You have close race okay, but, like, we're not in a position to win races yet. So, until that happens. Her field is 28, so that doesn't help things. But, um... Yeah, I gotta figure out that positioning, and I need to pay attention to the to the grade that they give me. They've given me C's and D's for running her as a proceeder or anything close to that. Yeah, she has no auto ability, so she's fine with running counterclockwise or clockwise. You gotta figure things out about this girl, really do. I at least need to know her leg type. That gives me more to work with, and then I can kind of adjust to everything else. The good, the bad field rating doesn't help though. Obviously, that does make things tricky. So I have to make sure she's settled really early. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and just hold her back here. I wonder if she's actually like a closer. She could be. Sometimes I don't think my horses are like legitimate closers, and then once the light type is finally revealed, like it shows they're an actual closer. Like that's the case with Silent Speaker. That horse I need to be running in last place or in first. So. And I wasn't expecting that from um, that horse, so. Seven, yep. I fi Closer, huh? Could this be our 2004 version of Honeybee, my friends? I am very curious. She could be. Maybe she is. We'll have to wait and see, but. She very well could be, but her stam is still not looking too hot. And granted, she still has a normal growth type, so I know she's not going to peak that quickly. Probably not a seven, yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. Got a long way to go. Very long way to go. Come on, my girl. Okay, she's got a good run here. A little bit of a course loss. I didn't really have a choice. She's got a good run. Good run here. It's just an open, though. I'm supposed to finish eighth. I need to see what they give me for positioning. That's the whole point of this. Winning the race would be great, but it'd be a lot easier to win when I for sure know where she needs to be. It's like six horses across the line. That's insanity. She finishes fifth. Okay. Not bad. She's got some speed there. Not honeybee speed. But then again, honeybee didn't start showing her closing speed until she was four years old. So let's see what they give us for position. B. Okay. So she's not a closer. She might be mid then. I at least need to get A or S. A or S lets me know I'm really close, at least. B is still like, okay, you're kind of close, but not that close. It's probably mid, honestly. I feel like it's probably mid. 
So I think she definitely wants to be at the back. Like running her at the front has not worked. She's been gassed and whatever. So let's just get a whatever type of start. That's fine. Just see what happens. Okay. So I'm just going to make sure obviously I keep her ahead of one horse. Don't want to run her on the rough, but I also don't want her flying down this back stretch like we did in the last race. So I'm going to keep her right here. Okay, let's see. No seven. It's probably because of the field, honestly. I hope this works, because I don't want to lose her. I feel like if as soon as we can figure her out, she'll be pretty nice. Now, her stamina is a little bit lower than I thought, but again, I know she's still developing, so that has a lot to do with probably some of her stats still not being where they should be. Okay, got to get her going now. Let's give her that extra encouragement. Come on, Toxic. Come on, girl. Ryan in there. Okay, she's showing some good fight here. Again, the main focus is the positioning, but... But this thing happens. Like, she just starts getting past. I think she definitely suffers from a stamina problem, so I... I don't know if I need... To, I feel like I'm... I don't know how soon I, or late I need to go. Probably later, because... That's the problem, though. When you have a horse that needs to run towards the back, they don't have great closing speed. It's like, if you're starting too late, you'll never win. S, okay. So, definitely uh, mid, for sure. <sighs> yeah, I wish I could figure out more about her, but apparently I cannot yet. But at least we know. She's mid. And it's good to uh, keep in mind for the next episode. So, that's going to do it here for today. Appreciate you guys' love and support. Um, I thought it was a good episode. I mean, I dropped maybe a few races at best, but uh, we won most of what we needed to win or at least had good results so um yeah i think we achieved what we needed to i will be back with another episode here i will continue recording this but obviously this is where i'm splitting this episode for today and and then i will keep rolling get through the end of the year because we have a lot of racing in december we have championships to win titles to gain and all that good stuff so appreciate you guys for love and support but until next time horse racing gamers out we have a very fantastic day i shall see you all later and goodbye Welcome to Horse Racing Gamer, where champions are made.